Hi. That is a ship, a ship going there behind the trees. I don't know if you guys can see it. And it's gonna go on top of a road though. It's gonna go on top of a road. <laughs> can you see the ship that is going behind? I don't know if we can zoom this, let me see. It's not zooming. Can anybody look behind the tree? There is a ship going there, can you all see it? Will you believe I tell you it's gonna go on top of a road? <laughs> A tunnel we're <laughs> gonna go on top all right um share this video let it bless somebody tag somebody in it drop your comments drop your reviews on my page under the review session if you're wondering where the review session is at the very top of my page not under this video at the very top of my page where my family photo is showing you will see one of the options underneath the photo saying review when you click on it, it will let you recommend or not to recommend my page. I've been very fortunate to have over 400 of you give positive rating of my page. God bless you. I have not had a single person write a negative review. That is too good to be true, isn't it? I love all of you. Those of you who are getting value, consider dropping a review, okay? All right, um, I wanna drop this information. It could be helpful to somebody. Use it if you think you need it, okay? So some visa applications have taken too long. Some of you may have applied for a visitor's visa uh, probably for months now, no update, and you're worried. You're going through some levels of... Some of you may have also applied for some student visas and it's taking long i want you to understand how these things work hmm? the visa officers are ordinary human beings just like you they are assigned visa cases or applications to work on some of them work faster than others some are slower they i'm assuming that like, like a typical corporation or corporate setting they have supervisors who track their performance and all of that so when it comes to visa making decisions, it is individuals making the decision, working for the IRCC or the Immigration and Refugees Commission of Canada. Okay. All right. I want you to understand it so that when you are dealing with the IRCC, you know that your case is going to be handled by one individual alone. That is that individual who is the visa officer may be a fast worker. They process things fast. Others are very, very slow. They do things very, very slowly. They take forever to work on one case. <laughs> if your visa has taken so long beyond reasonable, reasonable, reasonable timing, hmm, you could do this. Now, this is not an official way prescribed by the IRCC for going about visa application delays. But it is something that people have discovered that works. So I'm going to share this tip with you. Some of my followers have used it. It helped them. I've been aware of this since 2015, knowing some friends here who have used it and it worked. So please consider using it if you've been waiting. Which people am I talking about who are waiting? Student visa applicants whose visas have taken more than three months, no update. Hmm? Four months, five months, six months, no update. Visitors visa applicants whose visas have taken close to a year. No update. Permanent residence applicants who have gotten to the stage where you've done your medicals and you've passed. Who have gotten to the stage where you may have even been requested for your passport. What we call the PPR. You've, they've requested for your passport. But then it's taken so many months. No update. You're so worried. You guys requested for my passport. I was thinking you're going to put a permanent resident visa inside so I can quickly come. But it's taking four months, five months, six months, no update. And you're worried. And you're wondering, what do I do? Use this tip. One, 
know the city you plan to arrive in i want you to listen carefully you know i'm a person of detail huh if you don't listen and you put the question down there yours truly will ignore you with all seriousness and joy know the city you plan to live in what do i mean when you apply for your visa if you're a student you're probably coming to a particular school do you know the city where the school is located find it right find it find the city where your school is located if you are coming to Niagara College, there are three campuses, one in Toronto, one in the city of Welland, one in the city of Niagara on the lake. Find the city where your school is, where your campus is going to be. If you are a permanent resident and you are coming, there is a very high chance you know the province you are going to be arriving in. Find a city in that province that you intend to live in. Have you gotten what I said there? If you are a visitor's visa applicant, and you are waiting to arrive in the country you by now you know which city you are planning to arrive in or for the event or maybe the family or the person or the organization you are visiting you know the city find a city what next to do the next thing to do is to go online and look for the member of parliament for that city mp here we call them mmp Mm, we call them MMP in Ghana. We call them MP. Mm, we call them MP in Ghana. Here we call it MMP. Look for the member of parliament of the city. Look for the member of parliament of the city. Look for them on Google. Member of parliament, Welland. Member of parliament, Scarborough. Member of parliament, Edmonton. Member of parliament, mm, Nova Scotia, member of parliament, mention the specificity, look for the member. They have a website. Mm? They have a website. Not only do they have a website, they have their contact information online. In fact, they, they also have their email address and phone numbers online. Our members of parliament are reachable. They are not like African members of parliament who are only reachable during election time. Our members of parliament are online. They have a website. They have their phone numbers. They have their emails. They have their social media handles. Go and look for them on Google. And then when you look for them, send them a detailed email. Don't call them. I recommend you send them a detailed email. Detailed email. As when they watch them like they not they it they make your eye, they look fine, fine. They say, all oh, this thing, now, now common sense where they build them. Common sense, they arrange them like this. Things in our God, we can plant all of them in line like this. Now, common sense. Hmm? Now, common sense. Common sense where they build all of this. It's created by human beings who are called builders. But with a lot of common sense and planning, spacing, everything. Everything. Now, so somebody make ready, put in boat. In cruising boat for in front of. Then they go cruise very, very soon. As it come out this boat, then go cut the grass, finish. Finish. Hello? Good. Mm -hmm. Then go finish cutting in grass. And then go carry that boat. Go enjoy them where well for the water. Cool, huh? cool temperature down. Come back. See ya. Hmm? All right. Send an email to your member of parliament. Hmm? If possible, I recommend you use this title. Hmm? No? Request for assistance regarding visa application delay use that title request for assistance with visa application delay and then make sure you check your grammar if possible go and install grammarly which is an app that will fix all the grammatical disease in your writing typos you go fix some install grammarly put your writing inside make it fix all your error if you know somebody with the trust them write well don't go and put all your bad 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 grammar Eh? shorthand all the shorthand way they you instead instead of you spelling because you say bcu hmm? instead of you spelling you you go write normal you you like umbrella saying are you no 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 you don't want to send a member of i'm not saying they are going to question it too people take you serious when you write clearly when you write and clearly without clarity bad bad sometimes people will struggle to understand what you're saying so i'm saying that at least compose your mail well put a subject title hmm? 
and write to them. Dear Honorable Member of Parliament for this city, I hope you are doing fine. And I hope the city is doing well too. Huh? This is summer and I know you have a lot on your plate. I was wondering if you can assist me with SYZ. Hmm? I intend to arrive in your city and contribute meaningfully to your city whilst I school or I visit. My visa application has been pending for S number of months. I have made every attempt to reach out to the IRCC with no luck. I was just hoping that your office could be of some help to me by helping me find out what is wrong with my application or why the delay. Do you see that? Hmm? And then put all your vital information. Please find below my relevant details. You can quote your application date, the day the application was received, your passport number, the email you used for that application, the phone number you used, your personal full name as shown on your passport and your application, anything that you think is vital. Anything that you think is relevant. Hmm? You can show all of that in there. Put all of them. Please find below relevant information or details regarding my application. If possible, send them even attach a screenshot. Attach a whole screenshot of your application online so that they can actually see it that your application is pending. Mm -hmm. You do not want them to come back and ask you, please provide me with this. I personally, listen. When you are sending people an email, you need to know how to communicate. Me, Choco Millionaire, I don't like back and forth. I personally don't like receiving emails where I have to ask the person to provide additional information. I expect the person to have known what to provide me. If you are dealing with an, a member of parliament, they have so many things they are dealing with. You don't want the member of parliament coming back and asking. Hmm? You don't want the member of parliament coming back and asking you, can I please get your passport number? Can you please confirm your full name? No, 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 no. Anything you think they need about your application, put it there for them. Me, if you send me an email, you know I no longer receive email for other things, huh? Yeah? But if you send me an email and I'm the one who has to ask you, what was your GPA? What class did you finish with? Eh? I will not even send you. I will just skip it and move to the next one. I don't understand why you did not include all those vital information. It's just who I am. I like to be very clear. So when you are sending the member of parliament that email, be as clear as possible. Include anything that you think they will need. Here is what's going to happen. First, you are going to notice right away that even though you are not yet in Canada, and you don't even have a visa yet, you are dealing with a Canadian member of parliament who responds to your emails on time. Some of them may even call you. Will you believe me? There is a Nigerian woman who was waiting for uh, her passport at a stage of her permanent residence application from Nigeria. She waited, 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 nothing was happening. She went online, went to look for the member of parliament for the city she was planning to arrive to, sent an email. She was surprised the member of parliament got back. He said, aye. She said, aye. I cannot believe it. These people are there too serious. They got back to me. When in my own Nigeria, my local governor, Eh? And all the people wait there here. Even if you go to their office, they are not even looking at you. Hi, you mean these people go back to me? She was overwhelmed by just the fact that the Canadian member of parliament responded and assisted her. In short, all I'm saying is that if you do reach out to a member of parliament with a very detailed email and there is no ambiguity, here is what is going to happen. They are going to respond to you and acknowledge that they've received it they normally will reach out to the ircc on your behalf saying that there is an applicant who is bound to come to my city they have an application pending for this long please see attach their information can you please provide me with some updates on the application and sometimes some of the visa officers, they get scared or they get moved a little bit, especially those lazy ones eh, who are sitting on your file for too long. Eh? The moment they see a member of parliament reach out, you see them quickly go and open your file and begin. <laughs> those who have been sleeping on their work break, you see them quickly begin working on your file right away. As soon as you see some ghost, a ghost will begin to move and touch your file right away. Uh -huh. Now the member of parliament, just that email that went alone has gingered them to just get back to your file and pick on it. Okay. 
So this is something you can do. Hello, sir. How are you? Girl. Now, so you see, he's building the front. He's building the front himself. Mm? Building the front. Beautiful. I told you here, handiwork, now they make money. Mm? I don't know if you saw his face. Now, young guy, teenager. In the build up front too nicely. Here, doing things with your hand, it makes more money than anything. In Africa, they tell us doing things with our hand is not relevant. Hairdressing, not important. Mechanic, you are not respected. Baba, you don't count. People wait on, people wait they speak grammar. <laughs> and then we make our people feel so useless. A Baba doesn't even feel he's even counted. Hmm? But here, these are the people who build the economy. They are highly regarded here in Canada. You've never been regarded as a barber. You come here and you see your level of respect here. Mm -hmm. All right. I hope somebody has gotten something from this video. There are a lot of people who have used the MP approach. And they've gotten quicker responses. In fact, not just quicker responses. Their visas were approved. Just because a member of parliament reached out and followed up. The one thing you're going to learn when you use this approach, if it works for you, is that you see that the system works. Even members of parliament are accountable to the people, even if they are not even yet living in Canada. It will remind you that your members of parliament have been sleeping. <laughs> I hope this works for you. If anybody has a question, you can put it down there. Yeah, otherwise I'm just walking around, around the park. Mm -hmm. All right, and can you, anybody, so long as you have an application pending, I recommend that you do not abuse it. Mm? Don't abuse it. What am I saying? You do not want to be using this option if you just submitted your application last week, one month ago. No, why are you going to send a member? You're abusing it. Yeah? Some of you who abuse it, I know, I'm telling you, only use this when your application has been pending for long, beyond the reasonable processing time. Hmm? You submitted your application one month ago, don't abuse this, don't go and use this. You submitted your application one week ago, don't use it. Two months ago, don't go and use this option. It is only for people who have been waiting for more than three months for visas that should have taken maximum three months, right? Only use this when necessary. Some of you abuse things. You submit your visa today, you're already reaching out to member of parliament, stressing his life here. Eh? You know, say the man, they go parliament, they go do work. Your own member of parliament, you know, they respond to you, not even pick your call. You cannot even go to the office. Don't come and abuse the ones here. Use it wisely. Mm? Use it wisely. God bless you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One second. I'm walking around. I'm walking around. One second, I'll be with you. 